one of the first things I had to do with this DX5000 was of course convert it to the uh, 11 meter band and I wanted to know if the uh, the old traditional way worked and of course it does you hold down the, the function and SRF buttons while switching it on up comes the display one band turn the rotor around to two band and then holding the function button you get the RES wait until it says R end and then you can turn the radio off put it back on again and it's wide banded to cover the uh, 11 meter band good morning everybody well another little step towards setting up this uh, KPO DX5000 hopefully let's get it switched on power on radio on hey we've got noise well, have we? sort of there you are we're sort of on now let us try this uh, programming software start it up see what happens now just to see if it's working we'll try and read from radio can we read from the radio let's see what happens kind of open communications port well that's a fine start isn't it set up communications port com4 okay it says com4 read from radio read data from radio do you wish to continue okay connected PC has come up on the radio screen that's fine reading data from radio read data from radio okay and we're reading data from radio Five, six, four, five. Okay. And what we'll do now, we'll load this file I prepared earlier. Open a file. No, I don't want to modify anything, no. File open. Legal CB open, and here we have my my file now with the legal channels. As B, there's all our regular ones: twenty seven six zero one two five channel one, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now read from radio. Communication port, write to radio. Write data to radio, do you wish to continue? Okay. Write completed, okay. So we've now written to the radio. Let's, let's close this uh, program down then. We don't need it anymore, I presume. You can switch the radio off, I presume. I don't know. We'll unplug the USB. And we'll switch the radio back on. 
And now we want to be on channel A, followed by channel B, channel 1. 276012, yeah, we're there. We're now on the legitimate legal CB frequencies. So that's another step nearer, and that was very quick and straightforward, wasn't it? <clears throat> now another thing that we're always interested in is, how much power does it give out? So, let's try this now on this little power meter. Now this power meter has got two scales, uh, 0 to 30 watts and 0 to 300 watts. So on the 0 to 30 watt scale, if we find the power, our power is there, we can turn it way beyond full scale. So we're exceeding the 30 watts. Okay, so let's go on to there and full power again and it's reading 40 watts. 40 watts FM, full power, 27 by 60125. So we've got a reading for that. Another little test that we're always intrigued about is what's the modulation going to be like? And uh, some of these radios, I've been told, need a power mic because they don't have a lot of modulation. So we will try that now. We'll key up and see what the modulation reads on this device we're on what scale are we on not to 10k deviation so try it on that one two three four five five four three two one we'll go down the scale it looks like about two and a half kc's deviation go down one two three four five we're on the 3k scale one two three four five Hello, hello. Actually, it's um, it's going slightly over three k. Whoa, whoa. So the deviation is actually um, very, very powerful. It's a shade on the the high side, actually. Um, yeah, shade on the high side. So there's going to be no problems or complaints with low modulation. Now, sensitivity. Sensitivity check. On, on channel 20, you must write that down for comparison later. Sensitivity is minus 128 dBs. Minus 128. And how did that compare with the other sets that we did? 127. It's about the same as the PNI Escort. About the same. So, slightly better. Slightly better, but nothing in it. So, uh, I don't know what, uh, what you make of that. But then it is a, a multi-mode set. It is a multi-mode set, so you have to make compromises. But there we are, sensitivity, channel 20, about the same as the PNI Escort, just 1 dB difference, which is, 1 dB is nothing really in technical terms. Now, the next little thing we want to see is how accurate the S-meter is calibrated, because signal 9, according to the international spec, is 73 dBs. So let's change the level now to 73 dBs and we'll see how accurate the meter is. The signal strength meter should read strength 9. If not we'll find out what it's calibrated to. 73 No 
No. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Spot on. 73 dBs is S9. Spot on. So that is absolutely 100% right. We'll check the sensitivity again because I did not have the RF gain at the right setting. So we'll go back to that. The S meter is calibrated absolutely smack on. So that's perfect. The microphone sensitivity is a little bit high, so that's good. Only one more thing I can test at the moment. Inside the 